Hi guys, today we're taking a look at the BeagleBone Green Wireless. Just going to do a quick walk around the outside of the box. This is the BeagleBone uh, Green Wireless from Seed Studio. This is uh, what would typically be a BeagleBone board, uh, if you know anything about Beagle boards. Uh, but this is from Seed Studio. So this is one of the first times Texas Instruments has... Uh, allowed another company to take care of manufacturing the BeagleBone, which is great news both for Texas Instruments, which likes to focus on the chip manufacturing, and for us, the consumer, because we get cheaper boards. This is from the BeagleBone family. This is a 2x2 MIMO Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth with the Seed Groove system, which is their Seed's own proprietary groove system for uh, ins and outs. Uh, just looking around the back of the box here, it says on the back, the parts list is one Seed Studio BeagleBone Green Wireless, a USB cable, and a user guide. Just taking a quick look, the processor is a 1 gigahertz ARM A8 with 512 DDR RAM, 4 gigabytes of EMMC onboard flash storage, so you don't need an external storage card the way you do with a Raspberry Pi. This has 3D graphics accelerated. Neon floating point accelerator, two times PRU 32 bit microcontrollers, USB client for power and communication. So, this basically you can plug into your computer directly. It's got four times USB 2s, Wi Fi with BGN and Bluetooth, two 46 pin headers, and two grooves. That's basically it for the outside of the box. And one of the reasons I'm really excited about this is that this basically was the forefather of the Raspberry Pi. The BeagleBone was doing some really cool stuff around the same time that the Raspberry Pi came out. It was doing some HD video and other cool stuff. And so it's great to see this have a kind of second life now that it's left Texas Instruments. First up, here is the USB cable, which is a micro, and it is possibly the smallest micro cable I've ever seen. I don't even know why you would bother. I suppose you can plug this into the computer directly at first. Besides that, there is the BeagleBone itself. It looks like there's some other stuff in there with it. Let's just open this up. These are the antennas. That's what those are. So it's got two antennas. I thought because it had the NAND storage that it wasn't going to have a micro SD card slot, but it does. There's the micro SD card slot there. This actually does take two antennas. Look, antenna one goes here and antenna two goes there. Besides that, let's just have a quick look at the manual. Okay, so taking a look, this middle thing is the CPU. There's the four gigabytes flash. This is the uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth here. You can see there. This is the DDR RAM. And this is the PMIC. The debug serial headers there. These are similar to GPIO pins on the top and bottom. Here's where you have the USBs. And at the end, this is where you have these sieve groove systems. On the back side, you can see the micro SD and the micro USB for power. Flipping it back over, you've got two switches here. One is for power, the other is for reset. And down here you have one that says user. As I pointed out before, there's the two antennas. And that basically walks us around this board. Along with this kit, I was sent two Seed Studios Groove accessories. This is the three axis digital accelerometer, and this is the chainable RGB LED. I'm only just doing a quick walk around today, but I will start playing with these things. One of the neatest parts about the Beagle Bone is that this is going to use network over USB access. So you're going to actually program and access this thing through your browser which is great because it means that there's an easy way to access it and an easy way to interface with the board. Once you've gained access and set up your Wi-Fi to your local network, 
then you can disconnect it from the computer, just plug it in, and still always access it through your browser. It's a really convenient way of getting onto your BeagleBoard. Now this particular model, the BeagleBoard Green from Seed, does not include any video outs, so this will always be run headless. Again, it's cool, some of your projects may require that, might be something that you're looking for anyway. Here's a question for you. Why 3D Graphics Accelerator? Why have one of those if you can only access this over a browser It doesn't have any video outs? It's a question for you. Well guys, thanks very much for coming by and checking out my unboxing of the Beagle Bone Green from Seed. This is the wireless version 1.0. If you found this video particularly useful, you can buy me a coffee in the About section below. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so on Patreon. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check back soon as I start to do stuff and make things with the BeagleBone Green from Seed. If you guys have any questions, post them in the comment section below. Check the About section for any relevant links to places where you can check this out or get one for yourself. It's always best when we create little communities, so if you have one of these, please do post a comment in the comment section below. Let us know what you think. If you're thinking about getting one, don't be afraid to ask people who already have them. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. We'll see you again soon.